Hey guys, Brad from Team Crimson here with Deacon. And today we're going to be talking to you about all of the reveals from today's stream, along with some card reveals over the weekend. There was uh, some reveals from today that we're going to go over, but we wanted to go over real quick over uh, just a couple of cards that were revealed over the weekend. Um, I'm going to go into uh, the couple of strides first. So um, so the first one, if I can pull it up here, uh, the first one that we're going to talk about today is uh, it's the Gold Paladin stride reveal from, um, from Premium Collection 2020. It's Golden Dragon, uh, Blam Bent Dragon, question mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so its skill is uh, auto Vanguard Circle. When it attacks, cost, put two rear guards on the bottom of your deck in any order. Turn a card from your G zone face up. Draw two cards. Call up to two cards from your hand to rear guard circle. And if you called to, this unit gets critical plus one until end of that battle. It's a pressure unit because they, they already have spear cross. So striding really isn't uh, that big of a deal to go into right off the bat. But it's a pressure unit. That's all it's there for. It's a garbage unit. That's what it is. It's not going to see play. Um <laughs> I mean, it might. I doubt it. I, I, I doubt it. It's not good. It's not good. It's not. All right. So, uh, and then the other reveal was the Shadow Paladin Stride, uh, which is Dark Dragon Chain Ranker Dragon. Um, its skill is Act Vanguard Circle once per turn. Cost, turn a card from your G Zone face up. And until end of turn, this unit gets all of the original abilities of one of your heart cards. Um, also has a second ability of Continuous Vanguard Circle, Generation Break 3. If you have three or more Grade 1 or less units, when your opponent would call cards from his or her hand to Guardian Circle, uh, he or she must call three or more at the same time. Royal Paladin 2.0. <laughs> uh, this one's... I mean, yeah, this this one's good. But, well, this one's good. I mean, I'm not saying it's 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 not bad. It's just Morpheus is better. Yeah. There's, um, there's definitely some plays that you can do with it. Like like this can go in. Um, like a lot of these cards seem to be in standard plus. So uh, you can play this with uh, the Mordred deck. Um, you could play this with Claret. Um, it's it's good in in a standard plus variant. Um, you could still toss it into Luard. Um, but more than likely, you're still going to be going for your Morfessa plays, um, and then finishing off with Ultima, or you might go into this if they don't have enough cards in their hand or something like that, yeah. but... Uh, I feel like if you're tossing it into large, you're going for the, uh, the GB3 skill, uh, the three-card guard, because, uh, Morfessa is a two-card guard, uh, everything gains 15 and a half, so, like, two turns back pressure. Uh, and I could also consider Morfessa because the Morfessa build for premium already plays basically standard plus Claret. Um, like, they play a majority of that engine, so I, I could very, very well see that happening, but we'll see. It's, it's a good card. It's just it, it's standard plus card because it copies all the hard cards. So. Okay, and then uh, the card that I'm more excited to talk about right now um, and that is Alter Ego Messiah was revealed um, over the weekend. And uh, so it's it's quite uh, quite interesting. But let's go ahead and get into him. Um, he is obviously grade 3, force, 13k body. Uh, act Vanguard Circle once per turn. Cost Soul Blast 1. Put up to two cards with different card names from your drop zone on Rear Guard Circle as locked cards. Um, and then auto Vanguard Circle 
when it, it attacks, choose any number of any fighter's locked cards, unlock them, and those unlocked units gain power plus 10,000 until end of turn. Yeah, it's a, it is a, a better version of harmonics, being as it can come two from drop out of deck and then unlocks them uh, right before you do your drive checks, pass triggers to them. Because the original uh, was like counterblast one from deck, and then uh, uh, on attack, if I'm not mistaken, you oh, no, on attack, lock something, and after battle, counterblast to unlock. If I'm not mistaken, that was the deal. Uh, but it's a better version of that, being as it can lock them, give all of your unlocked cards power plus 10k. Uh, before you do uh yeah this no this thing's yeah this thing is is a souped up version of uh harmonics messiah but uh this is really really good um this is definitely what messiahs needed the only thing that they could possibly need more right now besides they're gonna get um they're gonna get the uh grade three searcher and stuff like that but um, the deck also need would if they come out with like a grade two that can gain like plus five k or something like that be like a fourteen k swing on its own. It can like swing like that and then lock itself after battle. If they get that, this deck is like perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what this deck needs. Yeah, I've been, I've been saying since uh, hell even since when Messiah first came out that. If they were going to self-lock, they need something that furthered your battle by locking themselves or locking other onto your rearguard circle. Like, that's just a, a give situation. But, yeah, it's a super solid card. So, <laughs> this, this, was definitely, this was definitely something that uh, Messiah needed. Um, it's quite good. Um, it's a battle extender, everything like that. So, no, and... I don't know. This is this is really good, and we're seeing that uh, the set is kind of exciting because uh, um, we're seeing the power buffs that this set is presenting. So yes. Uh, now moving on to uh, today's stream reveals, uh, we'll talk about the stride first. Pale Moon Stride, uh, Madiar Megatrick Yvette, um, regular stride skill, and then um, Magia Auto Vanguard. When it attacks, cost put a card and in your soul, and turn a card from your G zone. Uh, you get an imaginary cell. Uh, call a card from your soul to an additional rear guard circle. That unit gains power until end. And at the end of turn, put that called unit into your soul. So it is very free in call. <laughs> like you, says you put something and into soul, uh, create an excel gift, and then. Call said card or a different card from your soul onto the gift, <laughs> and then it goes back into soul. So it's essentially you flip something up to get an Excel and another attacker. <laughs> it's it's good. It's, I mean, with the premium collection one last last year, if I'm not mistaken, allows you to stride a stride on top of it after the attacks, but I don't. I don't know. I'm not Pale Moon. <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> uh, now, moving on to the stand side. Um, the There was a triple rare for um, Oracle Think Tank reveal. Uh, Goddess of the Sun, Amaterasu. Um, auto, deck. Uh, when revealed, effect, bind the top card of your deck, and one of your vanguards gets power plus 10k, plus 1 until end of the uh, and then second skill, auto, vanguard, rearguard, when it attacks, cost, discard card from hand, look at three cards from the top of your deck, reveal up to one normal unit from among them, and put it into your hand. And put the rest on the top of your deck in any order uh, any order you wish. Uh, so its first skill, um, essentially it works well with the VR skill that we'll read in a minute, um, and almost any other top deck skill, OTT. Allowing you to top deck said Amaterasu and bind plus in a crit for no reason. And it's second skill. Again, it's a free hand, and you get to stack the top of the deck. 
Uh, so you could possibly stack said card uh, and again just find it plus 10k in a crit. Any thoughts on it? Uh, it's quite good. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, uh, especially, with, especially with the VR that we're going to talk about in a sec. So. Now, uh, VR is Supreme Heavenly Battle Deity. Uh, auto Vanguard placed. Uh, two cards from the top. Reveal up to them and put it on top of your deck. And the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Um, so again, it works well with that. Um, and then Act Vanguard once per turn. Cost, counter one and Soul Blast one. Reveal two cards from deck and put them into your hand and activate all of the triggers card. Uh, if your soul has a grade three, you'll three cards instead of two uh, and triggers resolve after the effect resolves. <laughs> spicy meat. It's a spicy meatball. <laughs> this is quite good, yeah, because uh, you're you're able to uh, Uh, you're 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 effectively getting uh, quad drive. You're effectively getting quad drive right off the bat. Yeah. Um, and then uh, you're getting the five drive poss five drive checks. I mean, not really, but you are. Yeah, and you're revealing them, it triggers. They go off. <laughs> yeah, and which ones go off? So. And then you have other cards in the deck, um, like I know Magus, uh, you call counter draw and stack a card. So stack crit, you're all like, okay, uh, skill, <laughs> crit, all effects. <laughs> I, I really think that this brings back OTT um, to a far more competitive standing because obviously it's not doing anything right now. Um, but it, it'll bring OTT back to a competitive standing where I'm not quite sure because um, you have to take into account, I know a lot of the Magus support mostly works with Magus stuff, but there are some cards that could possibly go into this. Uh, we could be seeing a resurgence of uh, the deer. Um, I don't know. The game's also faster now, so maybe the deer doesn't stand as much of an impact um, now as it did back then but yeah. i don't know i don't know so this is i i feel like it's a little it's definitely a little up in the air but this is a very very good card and this definitely helps ott it's oh. not yeah it's it's not like they're at where they were you know it's, yeah. it's quite good hell this card alone is a saving grace to them because even if they had just this card, they would be able to do something again. Um, but it it entirely depends. Yeah, like you were saying, they're a huge question mark because if the rest of the support is kind of like this support, where you get to stack cards and draw cards and uh, OTT the deck, <laughs> um, then it will be really good. I just don't know where it stands as of right now if you just threw those two cards that were revealed in. Along with obviously the great three they're going to get, but um, yeah, no, Tusano is way better than I thought. <laughs> but a lot of a lot of these VRs are quite solid, you know. Uh, we've got Blade Master. Blade Master is pretty good. Um, it's not bad in any way. It's just I think I was a little um, disappointed that it was um, a just better Blade Master. But Blade Master is still not not bad. It's a very solid card. Um, Alter Ego Messiah, very very solid card. Susanu, very very solid card. Um, like I don't know, we just have to see what deep what they do with Deep Police and what they're going to do with the Cross. But um, I mean, this set is looking quite good. Oh yeah, I'm I'm excited to see what they're going to do with those two. Things. Those two are still left to be revealed and. The I feel like they've slowly <laughs> he's obviously I feel like slowly gone up in unexpected like Blade I figured he would be a um 
I did not figure that Alter Ego would do what he did, and I definitely did not expect Susano. So I'm I'm kind of excited to see what the other two are. <laughs> me too, me too. But uh, that'll I think that's it from us, though. Um, that's all we had to talk about, right? Yeah, that's all. Um, so for those of you that are expecting me to do a Vanguard Zoom, I still will be. It's taking me longer than I anticipated. <laughs> I'm having trouble with um, with some of the packs openings and not getting anything from me. And also hackers are a thing, so I can't get a good game in. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's all I have. That's all I have. Just me sipping on my tea because I hate zero. Um, but yeah, so that is... <laughs> Uh, that's it from us, guys. Uh, look forward to uh, Deacon's uh, Zero video whenever it goes up. Um, and then also look forward to later in the week, we're going to be doing a, which I actually have not told the team about. Um, we are going to be doing a video later in the week uh, discussing a very particular topic that I hope people look forward to. Um, I cannot get into that until later, but um, look forward to that, guys. But uh, that will be it from us and you will see us later in the week.